bodybuilding and comic book collecting have a lot in common. Stay tuned to this video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about the similarities that I see between bodybuilding and comic book collecting. Now, it might seem strange that I am attempting to make this comparison, but stay with me because I think that it will all make sense as I go through it. As I was getting ready the other day for a meeting, it kind of hit me that there are some similarities between bodybuilding and, and comic book collecting. I was um, a competitor for many years. I spent three years competing as an amateur in the MPC and then three years competing as a pro in the IFBB. And during this time, I have encountered a lot of competitors, um, both amateur and professional. I've read a lot of Instagram posts from competitors in the MPC, um, IFBB, and several other federations that are out there. And, and what I found is that people oftentimes are not happy with judges. Now, the reason for this is because people don't necessarily get the judge to vote for them. And that leads to some frustration and that leads to some questioning of the judging and also of the organization and institution that sponsors the bodybuilding competition. So what I've realized is that as a bodybuilder, I am essentially submitting myself to be judged, to be evaluated and critiqued by a panel of judges. Now, I expect that these judges have some experience with bodybuilding, right? Many of them are former competitors. Um, some of them are just fans of bodybuilding that, that go to some classes to, to learn what it takes to be a judge. But the, they have some experience, right, to, to evaluate me. And, and what, they're, what many judges are looking for is proportionality. They're looking for symmetry. They're looking for balance between the left and the right and the top and the bottom. They're looking for muscularity and, and overall development of the physique. And, and as part of that, what they're looking for is, yes, those things within the individual that they're evaluating, but they're also comparing that individual to other individuals that are sharing the same stage in the same division. So I was a men's physique competitor. And one of the things that they look for, well, a couple of the things that they look for with us is very broad shoulders and a very small waist. That a nice full chest up and bottom, or top and bottom, I should say. And they're looking for some nice muscularity, right? They, they want us to be, you know, the average guy that's at the beach and that looks good. That's, that's kind of what they're looking for. And, it, and to some degree, it is also a little bit of a beauty contest. So a handsome face doesn't ever hurt in a, in a bodybuilding competition. Um, but those are like the standards that they're looking for. And so they look at the individual and they look at the individuals on the stage and they kind of balance them against that, that criteria that are established for that division. And they make some judgment calls based upon um, what they're seeing. Now, what's interesting is that when, when you're evaluating a bodybuilding show, what these judges are doing is, is looking at um, not just one individual, not a dozen individuals. They may be looking at several dozens of individuals at the same time within the same class. So for example, when I turned pro, there were 23 or 24 guys in my class that I was being compared to. But in the show overall, there were roughly a thousand competitors that these judges were evaluating over two days across bodybuilding, men's physique, women's physique, um, bikini, women's bodybuilding, et cetera, et cetera. So there are lots of different classes, lots of different categories, um, the, the two different sexes, and then uh, just a lot of bodies overall. But bodybuilding is a very, very subjective sport. Yes, there are some criteria that they're evaluating, but, but judges are people and people have preferences. Some people like, you know, broader shoulders, some like a smaller waist. And so as the judges are going through and evaluating the different physiques, they're doing some mental math and they're adding or subtracting to what they're seeing 
on the stage to determine who the winner is based upon their personal preferences or based upon their biases. And at the end of the day, when a judge or the judges make a decision, in my mind, you should accept that ruling. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be happy about the ruling, but you shouldn't second guess the ruling and think that it's, that something's wrong just because it didn't go your way, because it doesn't always go your way. And I've seen a lot of people that will question the judges, question the integrity of the judges, question the institution that's sponsoring the bodybuilding competition because they didn't win. Now, that is the fundamental definition of sour grapes. Now, mind you, I've come out of some bodybuilding competitions on top. And in one of my videos, I actually showed you the sword that I won. But I've also not won some competitions over my you know six years of competing. And, and I'm actually okay with that. Would I have preferred to win? Heck yes. But you don't always win in life. And not everyone gets a trophy at the end of the day. So how does this compare to comic book collecting? All right. So when you're sitting at home and you're looking at your collection and you make the decision to bundle up your books into a brick and you fill out some paperwork or you do something online in terms of a form and you send your books off to the magical place of CGC or CBCS or PGX and you ask them to grade your book, you are essentially submitting your books to be judged, to be graded. And just like bodybuilding, there are people there that are human that will look at your book and based upon their preferences and their biases will evaluate and grade your book. And yes, there are some standards that they should abide by, but, but just like bodybuilding, comic book grading is also a subjective thing that you are voluntarily asking for. You are choosing to submit your books for this process. Now, yes, there is a lot of money involved, right? Whether you're talking about, you know, the acquisition of the book or the, the, the submitting of the book to be graded, or you're talking about the value of the book that, um, that is seen based upon that grade, there's a lot of money in there. And whenever there's money and emotion, you sometimes have um, some spillover effects, right? And so I, I get that people are upset when they don't necessarily get the grade that they want on a book because they think that the grade or the, should have been higher based upon the quality of book that was sent. But again, it's a subjective thing that you are asking for. And, and I get being disappointed, just like with bodybuilding. I get that there are winners and losers and that people are upset by that. But I don't think that you should necessarily question the judges, question the graders, question the institution, because you're asking for it. You are asking to be evaluated. Now, there are a lot of people out there that don't submit their books for encapsulation because they don't care about the grade. That doesn't matter to them. They don't, they don't intend to sell their books, and so submitting them for grading is something that they just don't do. And so they have chosen to not submit themselves for a subjective process. And I respect that. I think that if that's what they want to do, I think that that's perfectly fine. Because as I, I've made this point in previous videos, you know, these are our collections and we can decide what to do with them. And if, and I think, I think, right, if you decide to send your book in to be graded, you have to be willing to accept the outcome of that given that there are humans involved, given that it's a subjective process and that it may not go your way. And, and I think if, if you're so concerned about a grade, then maybe you don't submit your book for, for grading. Maybe you just buy the book that you want at the grade that you want and you take all of the ambiguity and the uncertainty out of it. So, you know, I'm, I'm not recording this video to make people mad, that's, that's not my thing. But what I wanted to do was to at least record a video to talk about, you know, the similarities that I see between two of my passions, that's bodybuilding and comic book collecting. Maybe you agree with some of the points that I made. Maybe you don't agree. Um, but let's have a dialogue. Let's have a healthy dialogue, a constructive dialogue about the, you know, whether you agree or don't agree or whatever it happens to be. So I encourage you to to to, to comment and and let's have a little bit of 
of back and forth. I welcome the discussion. I welcome a healthy debate. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to do so. If you've subscribed to me already, I want to say thank you for that. Regardless of what camp you fall in, if you've taken the time to watch this video, I say thank you. And hopefully you will come back for more videos in the future. Take care.